Hi, it's my privilege to be with you today. We've been working so hard on videos this weekend that we both were hitting the point of enough. So what a day in Southwest Florida. We thought, well, let's just do a quick stretch at a beach because the beach or the house or by the pool, you can do a eight, 10 minute stretch just to get rejuvenated. And it's a reminder sometimes when life gets tough, step away. Change the setting you're in. Go outside. Go to the pool. Sometimes just going to the grocery store if it's a nice grocery store can change your mood. We are responsible for our attitude and our mindset. So join me on this relaxing stretch. We're going to do my favorite pose. Just relax down. And I know this takes pressure off your back and your nice little circle of those legs to soothe that lower back. And set it down. I want you to lift those glutes, we all know that, and squeeze them tight, stretching that lower back and strengthening these glutes. But I want you to try something a little different. I want you to set these hands on top of these knees and I like this little circle with hands on top of your knees because it takes a little more control of the core. It actually strengthens your core because you don't have your hands to balance or to support you, so you're working that core a little bit more. Oh, gently set those legs down. I want you to lift up, but this time I want you to just come halfway down and squeeze back up, working those glutes, massaging that low back and squeeze up and set down and just squeeze up and set down gently drop your legs to what feels good if you don't feel like going all the way down to the ground your spine's not quite ready this is just to get blood into the spine and relax it right oh that sun's on my face on my arms it feels so good to catch the vitamin d I want you to stop at the top again, but this time, I want you to do the same type of bridge pelvic tuck, but on the mat. Squeeze your glutes down here and release. Squeeze, so I'm not coming all the way up. I'm just doing that same move right on the mat, strengthening those glutes, working. You can even add in a little Kegel pelvic floor squeeze here. Oh, feels great. Now, I do want you to go back to the rock and notice how I'm swinging that top leg forward to stretch out that glute, that hip joint. And I want you to squeeze your abs as you come across and pull that knee up just for a little bigger stretch. And to the side. Oh, that feels good. And stretch. And to the side. Now, you folks that want a little more stretch, you can also stretch out that leg okay. and set it down and then bend it in and stretch it out and set it down. That just gives you a little longer stretch. Let's do just one more. Pull it in, stretch it out. I got a nice long stretch there. And you notice I'm not really doing static hold stretches. I'm just doing dramatic. Get the blood in there and lengthen those muscles and bring it in. I want you to lift your wrists and hands to the ceiling, flex those hands, lift those shoulders up and stretch them. I'm not coming off of the mat, I'm just lifting those shoulders and relax and lift those shoulders, relax, open that chest, press those shoulders into the mat. Give yourself a hug, one arm on top and open up. And now the other arm on top, Stretch those arms over your head like angel wings and bring them down to your side and back up and side. Gently drop your head to one side. Press it into the mat to strengthen that neck and then just let it go. That's a great stress reliever. Take your head to the other side, tuck in your chin and press and let go. Just do a full body stretch, arms overhead. Once overhead, relax them into the mat. Oh, and bring them back down. 
and relax them. Now, however is your favorite way to roll over. Some people like just a log roll. Others don't want to go off the mat, so they do a little shimmy onto the mat. I hope that you're feeling a nice stretch through that body. I want your hands to be like in a triangle up front. And for that low back, I am going to do a push up. Not a whole cobra, not even a half cobra. I'm just gently massaging that lower back, trying to get it in alignment, trying to unlock it. Oh, feels good. And after you've done a few, then I want you to just separate those hands and push up a little further. Now I know some of you are going to be able to push up even further than this, but make sure these hips stay on the floor when you push up, or should I say on the mat at the beach. Now I want you to walk your feet away from the mat, off the mat, both feet, and feel the stretch. If I'm off to the right, I feel a nice stretch down my left hip. I stole this from two physical therapists and it has helped with my hip pain immensely. If you're able to push up while you're there, that's just going to stretch it a little bit further. And push up and come down. Now take it in the other direction and let it just sit there and lengthen and stretch. Then do a push up and down and a push up and down. Across the front of those hips and those quads, those hips get tight. So just do a little, I call it my pajama party kick. Just kicking one leg and then the other. Then hold it back there. See how close you can come to grabbing one leg and then the other leg. And each time you're trying to reach and grab it and you're maybe even pulling it in, right? Once you have it, see if you can stretch it to your glute just a few times and release it. Because this is not a work type of video, it's more of a relaxation and release video. And pull it in and release. Oh, I can feel this one is a little tight. And release everybody's favorite push up the child pose but i want these arms forward today so that you're stretching out those shoulders and those lymph nodes and i want you to feel a pull in those underarms and just walk forward and drop those hips down stretching that low back and come up and go back again and stretch those arms stretch the lymph nodes stretch the low back up on all fours, I want you to walk around and look at your right heel. See how close you can come to grabbing that just to unlock the spine and the obliques. And then walk around the other way and grab that heel. Second time's a charm. So you're grabbing again. Take your head with you because the more you move that neck, the less neck pain you'll have. And around the other side. Separate those knees. I love this one. Put your feet together. You're going to stretch back to stretch those hips. And now if you feel up to it, I want you to take your hands in by your knees and stretch through those knees and around that upper back. Just gently opening it up. To stretch that hip, walk those knees back yet. Let's go to the right corner, left hand on top, and just pull away. Feels great. And walk over to the other side, right hand on top at the left corner, and pull away. Everybody's favorite, just round, and then arch in the opposite direction, and round, and arch in the opposite direction. On one side, just a nice, easy unlocking of that hip again. I'm bending that knee to my chest, swinging it behind me, and bending that knee to my chest, and swinging it behind me. I want you to push up and just lift that leg, work in the side of that hip. Bring it into your chest, stretch it out, and bring it around. And bring it into your chest and round, and stretch it out and bring it around and in and out and bring it around and let's go just a little further to stretch it flip around to the other side 
get comfortable. These knees can be wherever you're comfortable right now. And you're just gonna swing it in and out. If you're more comfortable not being on that shoulder, cause that's building shoulder strength. But if it's just having a day, it's not wanting to support you, give it a try and if it's not working, go down. So I'm bringing it in, stretching the low back, the glute. Now I'm bringing this in and I'm stretching it in front of my nose and swinging it back. Just giving this hip some range of motion in front and swing it back. Two more, just in and front and back and in and front and back. Keep taking it back and just stretch. Oh, wonderful. Now we're just going down for a nice little finish. Take a deep breath, arms out. Gently take your head from side to side again. Because I only want just about a 10 minute stretch right now. Can you bring your knees up and take them both to the right and both to the left? You're gonna feel a nice unlocking of that lower spine. And a day can't go by, as you know, I feel without stretching that hamstring. So stretch it up, flex it up, stretch it up. Let's test your brain and do a little figure eight with that foot. Ooh, I feel that foot resisting that. But I'm unlocking any tenseness in those ankles because we've worked on them yesterday and today with some aerobics we're gonna be bringing to you, a DVD for sale, uh, another hit, which is going to be part of the free library. Let's just set it on this other leg and move it towards your nose and out and towards your nose and out and leave it in and pull it over to the other shoulder a little bit and relax it. And the other leg is up, stretching that hamstring, that glute. If your leg won't straight, this is okay. It's mostly for your back when it's here, and I want the whole leg. And then flex that foot, and point that foot, and flex it, and then start a little figure eight. You can see this foot is wanting to lock. And it's a great way to connect your brain to the furthest part away from your body, and stretch it. Then just set it on this leg and move it in and out, just to grease that hip, give it some unlocking and then gently instead of the other shoulder pull it toward that other shoulder stretching right down that hip full body stretch feels wonderful point those toes flex those toes point those toes those feet are the foundation for everything if they're not flexible and having a good day it's not a good thing oh gently roll over Put a smile on your face. It just naturally increases in endorphins. Whether you want it to or not, they've proven it does. So grab under your thighs and just straighten up. Bring those elbows forward and round. And breathe, make your spine nice and long, no shrinking here, and round. Grab one side of your leg and just shift every direction. Shift your hips, shift your shoulders, straighten up again big breath and go the other way just shift straighten those legs grow that spine start let's separate our feet and just start a nice little look behind getting the IT band done look behind breathe in breathing so important exhale breathe in exhale shoulders forward Shoulders back and squeeze and fix that posture. Shoulders forward, shoulders back. Show me those angel halos because you are angels for joining me today. Circle them in one direction to loosen those shoulders and the other way. And here's to feeling good. If you like these short videos, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to bring you more and more of these free ones. And we look forward to bringing you a DVD you can stick into your player. That is going to be a for purchase, but many of you had mentioned you would enjoy that. So, here we are at the beach. Head to the beach. Head outside. Head somewhere in nature this week. Have a great day, and here's to feeling good.